Hi, today we are going to make a hair slide or a hair barrette. I'm not really sure what it's called. Um, for our tools, I'm going to use an anvil. I don't have a metal block. If you do, that would be great. I have a chasing hammer. And I'm using these heavy duty wire cutters because my jewelry wire cutters are so abused already without doing more damage. I have a nylon plier, a round nose, and a chain nose. I'm not sure exactly what we are going to use right this minute. Did I say I have a file? I don't know if I did or not, but we have a file. Now the wire. I'm going to use 14 gauge and 18 gauge wire. Now this is raw copper wire, which is my absolute favorite wire. And I even love the way it patinas. However, if you don't like that, you could choose a different wire if you'd like. I uh, did a search on Etsy and I found a shop, I think it's pronounced Bortec. It's O-R-R-T-E-C dot Etsy dot com. And they have amazing stuff. They have this heavier gauge wire. I also ordered a, a 16 gauge. I don't know what I did with it right this minute, but not only do they have the heavier gauge raw copper wire, but they have amazing handmade uh, jewelry components and findings. They have leather working supplies. I don't even know. They just have a ton of stuff. And there's a blog, the website. The website is bandana-girl.com. And all the links will be in the description box. Um, they have tutorials. They have blogs. I think they also have a YouTube channel. So you definitely need to check them out. But this is what we're using today. So to begin, I have the 14 gauge wire and I have already filed the end of my wire because I figured you've probably seen me do that enough. I'm going to leave it on the coil. I'm going to straighten it out a tiny bit. It's just really not that desperately important right this minute. But I'm going to start by just coiling my wire. To get me started. Okay, and now I'm going to hold on to it. Ow. Isn't that lovely? That's from my glue gun. That that big beautiful blister. Yeah, my glue gun loves me and often gives me that gift. So let's just go ahead and coil. Now I'm making a heart. You probably already guessed, but you can make this any shape that you want. And if you watched any of my other videos that include hearts, you know I'm not very happy if my two sides are identical. But I'm just going to say now, if it's important to you that your sides be identical, then please do that. Just ignore me. Now I'm going to give myself a little bit of a squeeze down here at the bottom, just for shape. I'm not trying to make a perfect point or anything. I just want it to have a little bit of shape, a little bit of interest. So here's what we have so far. Now, this is where you're going to pay attention if you want them to be the same, your two sides of your heart to be the same. Well, I guess you got to pay attention if you don't want them to be the same too, because you might accidentally make them the same if you don't, I suppose. But we're going to start with our coil. 
I'm just trying to get an idea of about how much wire I think I will need to finish this coil. So <laughs> this is what we have so far. It will get better, I promise. So I am going to cut, giving myself a lot of extra wire here. And I'm using the flat side of my cutters to give me a cleaner edge, even though I'm not sure that I'm going to be actually using this edge yet or not, because we may need to cut it smaller. But here we go. Now let's start coiling this end. I'm going to coil this in a little bit more. And now, well, I thought I could do it with my fingers, but 14 gauge wire here. I'm going to see if I like what my heart looks like. And here we are just trying to get a shape that makes you happy. Just ignore my shape and make a shape that, that you're satisfied with. So do we like this? Kind of want it a little bit. further down. Okay, I am pretty happy. So I'm going to take my file and go in here and file this. And trust me, this is very sharp. Very, very sharp. You don't want to skip this step. But I'm not going to make you watch me do the whole thing. Just go ahead and file that end that you cut. Okay, filed and ready to go. And now it is time to hammer our piece. Uh, we are work hardening. Probably could get away with this project without it. But what I want to do is use the ball peen end and hammer so that I can get that impression, that decoration on my wire. And I'm sorry about that. But I wanted you to be able... I'm not sure you can, but I want you to be able to see the difference that that ball peen side of your chasing hammer does to your wire. If you like this look, then go ahead and get it done. I'm going to do both sides. If you do not like this look, then either leave it as it is or hammer it with the other side of your chasing hammer. Either way, you do it your way. Okay, here is my heart after it has been hammered. Now, once I did hammer it, I ended up cutting, I don't know, about three quarters of an inch off of here and did a reshape in case that looks different to you. So you can do that after you hammer. Now, I have my 18 gauge wire here and I'm thinking this is probably about 10 inches. I'm not sure, and I really don't know exactly what measurement to give you. But we're just going to make a simple little wire rose right here just to give it a little bit of a decoration because I'm not going to, but you could certainly add beads, add chain, add whatever you want. But I'm going to fold it over, and my fingers are in the way. I'm going to fold it over here right in the center of my heart. And then I'm going to fold over the other end. Now there is no right or wrong to this other than you don't want to cause these two pieces to cross each other. You want them to lay flat. And right now it's really not important if this is super tight or not. We can give it a squeeze 
if we want. Okay. And you know the drill on just the simple little wire heart. We're going to bring one around to meet up with the other one. And if that's not tight enough for you, go ahead and fix it now before it's too late. As far as what the center of your rose is going to look like. Now I'm just going to bring this one around. And there's probably a technical correct way on making a wire heart. I don't know. I mean a wire rose. Did I say heart the whole time? I'm sorry. But I don't know what that way is. So I just kind of do it my way. Now I'm going to twist this. Now we're just going to wrap it around. Here the important thing is that you make this rose to look the way you want it and to be the size that you want it. Make a big giant rose if you want. Make a teeny tiny rose. Whatever you prefer. Okay. So here is my rose, my kind of sort of rose. Why am I showing you upside down? I really don't know, but there we go. Now I am going to flip it over to the back and I'm going to trim these wires. And I am not going to file them. I don't see that it's necessary unless you like filing, in which case, please do. We're just going to cut this excess wire. And then, you probably should hold on to your wire because I really don't know where that one went. But now we're just going to coil this down into the back of this rose that we just made. And bury that mean, sharp piece that we've got there so that it really doesn't matter that it's there. And then go ahead and do that with your other one. I'm going to bring this up this way. And then tuck it in to the back of my ribs. So here is my completed heart. Now we have to make the bar part of our barrette. And, you know, you can put your bar in however you want. I'm going to go under the assumption that my bar is going to go straight across. I'm going to make sure that I have a good amount of extra here. And then... I am just going to fold this upward. So that I have an idea of where I need to cut my wire. I have cut and filed that end. So let's get this end cut. Watch your eyes. Apparently I'm just shooting wire across the room today. Now, let's get this filed. Oh, I wasn't supposed to make you watch filing. So, get this filed. Okay, all filed and ready to go. And I need to get these wires to touch. Not as simple as you would think when you're using a heavier gauge wire, but it can be done. So just squeeze and squeeze and squeeze until we get these closer together. And Do that until you're satisfied. And I am good with that. Now, you can hammer this if you would like. I am not going to hammer this portion, but you certainly can. Now I'm going to start coiling this wire. And you could make any shape you want here. You could make a little heart. I tend to really just do basically the same thing on this project. 
because I like the look of it. So let's go ahead and do the other side. Coil that other side. So here we are. I gave my ends a hammering with the ball peen side of my chasing hammer and then I just lightly hammered on each side of this on the other side of the chasing hammer probably wasn't necessary but I just kind of felt like doing it now I have here another piece of 18 gauge wire and I'm guessing it's probably uh, it's probably less than six inches we don't need much unless you want to make like a really giant rose and then we do need a lot but I'm not making a giant rose so this is the little tiny piece that I have and I'm going to make a rose just so it will match with my heart probably shouldn't have said the word heart now I'll probably start calling the rose a heart again and we're just going to make it the same way once again do not cross these guys over and there's one difference with this, which I will show you when we get to that step. I'm trying to figure out how to do this without my big giant hands being in the way here. Let's go ahead and cross this over. Just like before. Make sure everything is how we want it. And now let's give this a little squeeze. And then just go ahead and make your rows just like you did before. And then we will come back and I'll show you what we have to do a little bit different with this project. So here is my little heart. And do you see, I mean my goodness sakes, my rows. And do you see what's going on here? <laughs> so... What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this wire, one of the wires, doesn't matter which one, and I'm going to wrap it around this piece so that it does not slide away. What is it with hair on my fingers? I don't know, that was gross. Sorry about that. So. I'm going to squeeze it in a little bit, and then I'm just going to wrap this around to give it more stability and make it stay where I want it. Okay, and now with the other one, I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. So there we go. It is all done. And of course, I will take pictures for you. This is super sweet, super simple, easy hair slider or barrette you can make up so quickly. So that's all I have for you today. I am going to show you another style of these in an upcoming video. And we are going to add chains and beads and really fancy it up a bit. I can't express to you how important I think it is that you go to ortech.etsy.com and check that shop out. Now I'm not affiliated in any way, not friends, don't know who they are, but their shop is so impressive. So go check them out and thank you so much for watching.